Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the previous parts, I ranked up in the Glitz Pit and earned my way into the Major League, and that was thanks to the fact that I now have this blue Yoshi kid by my side. His name is Memory, and so far, he's served me well. Before I dive into the upcoming bouts of the Major League, I did want to briefly discuss each of the partners in my current party, because right now, I have four of them, and each one has a different background and different motivation. For starters, Goombella here is the main reason that Mario has any sense of direction, and without her, Mario would most likely be completely clueless and lost. She just wants to go on the journey for fun and for research purposes. Then we have Koops, and his goal is to prove that he's not a coward, and he initially wanted to save his father, and after he did that, he opted to stick around with Mario because Mario inspires him, and he hopes to inspire the other residents of Petalburg. It's a true hero's journey, and I respect it. Then we have Flurry. We just kind of went to her house and asked for help, and then she helped Mario and just never left after that. But the more the merrier, I suppose. And now we have the newest member, the Yoshi Kid, whom we rescued as an egg from a hot dog vendor. And his whole motivation is that he just loves fighting. And you know what? I love that. And in that regard, out of the partners that I have here, I relate to him the most. I also just love competing, even if it seems pretty obvious that I'm going to lose. I just want to see how far I can go and see what I'm capable of, and I imagine that this Yoshi kid is at least somewhat similar. There's something fun about battling against someone who's just so much more powerful and knowledgeable than you, and yet you just can't help but be curious about whether or not you even have a chance at defeating them. And I love facing off against top players in games such as Super Smash Brothers or Pokemon or Splatoon, and sometimes just getting bodied by a top player is just so fun. And just as well, being able to make an impact on them and take a game or something, or sometimes even coming close to a victory, moments like that are highlights for me, and sometimes your opponents will also just never forget that. In that regard, I love competing, and so I relate to this Yoshi kid. Plus, he has the best partner theme in the game, I'm just saying. Anyway, introductions aside, let's go ahead and continue ranking up in the Major League and see who our first opponent in this league shall be. Now, there is something to be said about how there are some days where competing just isn't as fun and sometimes you feel as though your losses are unjustified, but as a whole, I love competing because I love disrupting the scene. So let's disrupt the Major League. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Okay, then your next opponent will be ranked nine in the Glitz Pits, the Tiny Spinies. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to keep that part of yours from doing any damage. You hear me? Keep that little firebrand in check. Got it? Only you attack. Now get in there and show them who's boss now. Interesting. So now that I'm in the Major League, the secondary objectives are actually going to get more and more difficult. I can't use my partner to attack at all. It's all got to be Mario, but that's fine. I'll just switch over to Goombella, have her use her tattle move. I guess it's not quite an attack. I mean, it's it's an attack, but it doesn't deal damage. But I'll have her tattle, and then I'll just have Mario use Earth Tremor or something, and then we'll wipe out the competition. Here we go, my first match in the Major League. Bring it on. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Thorny Demons. Yep, I'll fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! Well, I like your fiery spirit memory. Whee! It's gonna be fun poking fun at you! I don't know why that's the voice I had for the Tiny Spinies. That's just the quickest thing that came to my head. It was something high-pitched. All right, let's do it. I'm ready for you. I got my rock and roll jam ready to go. No more of that mini boss music. Nah, nah. Back to the Glitz Pit Chapter 3 rock and roll awesomeness. So, let's switch back over to Goombella. Hmm, I don't even have enough to use Earth Tremor. So, we'll go ahead and appeal with Mario, build up some star points, and then I'll get some stylish points with Goombella's tattle attack, and hopefully that'll give me just enough points to fill up Earth Tremor. Looks like that'll be the case. All right, and stylish bonus. There we go. That's a red spike top. It's the most well protected of the buzzy beetle species. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is a whopping 4! Yup, this guy is hard! It has a really high defense, and fire and explosions don't hurt it at all! If we can just find a way to flip it over, its underside has defense of 0! And that spike! What a pain! There's gotta be a way to flip it over! Yeah, well, the easy way would be to use a PAL block, but I'm gonna win each of these Glyphless fights without an item! <laughs> yeah, you thought I would be distracted to do a super guard, but no, I'm 2 for 2! <laughs> oh, alright. Well, now I've got enough juice in me to go ahead and use some Earth Tremor. This I can't commentate over as well. This I actually gotta time my A button presses, so give me just a moment and then you'll have my direct commentary attention. All right. Boom. Boom. 
I will flip you over just after I get this Earth Tremor move going now. Oh, wait, there is one more time there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom, baby. And that ought to do it. Thank goodness those Earth Tremors only affect the enemies on the stage and don't hurt anybody in the audience. I had to use it my star power, but I reckon that was the fastest way to get through that fight. Whacking you with a hammer isn't gonna do anything. You had a defense of four, and I can't use my partner, so I couldn't use Yoshi's gulp, so that was the way to do it. Don't you worry, folks. I know my way around these battle mechanics. What did you expect, huh? We rock! Yeah, and Grubbin knows what request he's talking about. Obviously, I would have completely swept that fight with Yoshi's gulp ability alone, but the fact that I had to defeat those guys without my partner and they had a defense of four means that using my hammer wouldn't have done much. I guess I could have charged twice, but Earth Tremor was the very easy and faster solution. And I've got plenty of other battles to do, so let's just go ahead and get a move on, huh? Thank you, Jolene, for the prize money. Well, if no one has anything else to add, I'm gonna go ahead and switch Goombella back over to memory, although I might just wind up switching back to Goombella at the start of the next battle, but whatever. And then I'm gonna spend my first time in this bed right here, right now. In some regards, I would somewhat think that the minor league bed might actually be cleaner and safer than the major league bed. It certainly looks nicer, but I don't know if I'd trust the folks around here. None of them came up and approached me and gave me good advice like King K did back in the minor league, but Whatever, let's just dive on into this into this next match. If no one else wants to stop me, I'll just continue my sweep through the league, thank you. Fix the four fight, huh? Okay, then your next opponent will be ranked eight in the Glitz Pits, the Poker Faces. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to win before you take 20 HP of pain. Oh, you don't gotta worry about that. Our fans don't wanna see a battered hero win by the skin of his teeth, son. Now get in there and show me some grit, pard. Yeah, so once again, the battle requests are different, but pfft, Win before I take 20 HP? That's not gonna happen. With any luck, I won't even take a hit. And with any luck, I will wrap this fight before the opponents even get a chance to attack, all right? I got memory with me. Check this out, all right? Fully restored HP, fully restored FP. No, I don't have fully restored SP, but I'll work on it. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Easy. For our next battle, we get the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Ultimate Weapons. Yep, the fight to the finish with the Poker Faces. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! You're not even good enough to be my effect. Ooh, you're gonna be coleslaw, kid, and that ain't good. You're right, I really don't like coleslaw. Every time I go to Raising Cane's, I always swap that out for an extra piece of bread. Uh, although I am the last guy that should be talking about food and I better shut my yap before I create some controversy in the comments. All right, let me just stick to fighting. When before taking 20 HP of damage? E Z. These guys are already tattled because I tattled on them back near Petalburg back in chapter one. Okay. Never mind. you got spikes on your side. A unique situation where Yoshi can't actually gulp you. So instead, we'll go ahead and just appeal. I'll fill up my SP. I need Earth Tremor to damage you if I'm not gonna use any items and if Yoshi can't gulp you. Or I can Super Guard! There we go, see there's one Super Guard. There's two Super Guards! Good job, Yoshi. See, you got this. Oh my God, what, you guys upset that I Super Guarded both of those? Get the heck out of here. All right, well, I guess in the meantime, we're just gonna have to, to appeal again because I, I, I can't do much else. I'll just win by Super Guarding then. That's just an option. And there you go. I think this is my first time ever appealing with Yoshi in this in this walkthrough, so that's what it looks like. Boom, baby! Death by Super Guard. What a tragic way to go down. Woo! And I've leveled up so many times since I fought you guys for the first time back in Chapter 1 that now I only get three star points for defeating you. I mean, three star points is three star points, and that twice is definitely six star points. Basic math, I know, but six star points goes a long way toward getting me closer to leveling up once more. Six percent to be exact. <laughs> How'd that floor taste? Ah, uh, that's the victory quote I remember from, from Yoshi. Get used to him saying that a lot because he's absolutely gonna sweep these floors clean, sweep. Make those floors clean so the enemies can taste it once they are defeated and smacked down onto it. All right, met the battle conditions, awesome. Did not even take damage, just got those super guards. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, there are a couple of enemies in this game that Yoshi cannot gulp, but don't worry. That was something of an exception and not the normal. Gonzalez, you hear that? You just got another email. See what it is, man. All right, I guess I can do that. I wanna do that right here in the locker room. All right, go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit. 
It's just an email. Why is everything randomly capitalized and not capitalized? It's not like you're sending me an invitation where you like cut the letters of different envelopes and then tape them onto a piece of paper so people can't make out your handwriting. It's just an email. But all right, before I forget, I'm gonna heal up one more time because memory did take one damage from my failure to remember that he can't gulp those guys. But otherwise, they, they didn't do a whole lot. The only reason I got hurt was because of my own failure, not because of their success. It's kind of like me SDing in Super Smash Brothers, you know? They didn't do anything to cause that, I just, I was just foolish. But hey, now I can actually capitalize on using Yoshi on the overworld to showcase just how much faster he is at moving Mario than me just pushing my own stick. Also, hey, there's a poster of me in the background. I'm there now. I'm moving up in the Major League. I've got people that are willing to look at my poster and say, oh, he's so cool. Or something like that. I don't know what people say these days, but what I do know is the watering hole is gonna refer to this place because there's no other place where people really get their fluids. So we can go inside here. We were in here previously about two parts ago where I spoke to this person previously. He was a fan of hammers. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left the package and a note by the door a bit ago. It said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. And this is this. A fan of hammers he is indeed. We now have the super hammer. Much like how I got the super boots back in chapter two, this super hammer will supercharge my hammer. I can deal more damage with it and it will allow me to have some extra utility in the overworld. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. Now you can use a wicked cool new technique. Let's get to practicing it. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate the left stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B. All right, so you heard her. Hold down the B button and then rotate while you have the B button held down and you'll do a spinny hammer attack. Oh, excellent, Mario. You're so awesome. Oh, I guess that is what they say, see? They are so awesome, you're so magnificent. All right, I've mastered the super hammer. With the super hammer move, you can even break big blocks like this. So I've seen a couple of these in this game already. Of course, most of them are back in the Rogueport sewers, so I'll go ahead and showcase those back when I go to Rogueport after Chapter 3 is concluded, but just keep that in mind. The Super Hammer has overworld utility and it makes my hammer move stronger in battle. Now my hammer moves will deal just as much damage as my jumping moves. So far as I could tell, that hammer is a new model, a Hammer Whack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, and high bunkability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Isn't that odd? I mean, it's not that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Oh. What timing? As soon as the tutorial's over, I get another email, huh? Well, I guess it's better that way. It'd be awkward if it was in the middle of the tutorial. Smash the blockade in the locker room from X. The blockade in the locker room, huh? Wonder what's behind it. Yeah, if you recall, there was one of those giant blocks in the minor league locker room. And also, the one lady that was over here is now gone. She was the one that told me about a fighter named Prince Mush. Yeah, she's not here anymore. Oh, how long has this been sitting out here? Look at this, an in coupon, just sitting out here in the open. Well, it has no use for this part of the game, but I'll go ahead and pick it up because these are a finite resource. There are only so many in coupons that exist throughout the entirety of this game. So I'll take it and I will store it with this nice gentleman right here with the other in coupon or in coupons that I've obtained so far. So I will store this, there we go. I don't know how long the in coupon has been sitting there. It's probably been there for a while, but I did not notice it over the course of my gameplay, nor did I notice it over the course of my editing, but I noticed it now. Don't worry, I'll pick it up and I'll hang on to it. Whether or not I'll use it, I don't know, but I have it, so don't you worry, I got it. I will showcase all the locations of all the end coupons in the game, but for now, let's get back to fighting, huh? Do you like that poster of me in the room, though? I like that a lot. All right, so the big yellow block was in the minor league room. You think if I just politely ask this guy that he'll just let me in? Ah, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got word that you somehow fell back down to the minor league again. 
Dude, I was gone for like three seconds. In that time, did we get enough new fighters to rise all the way up to the major leagues to the point where I'm technically back in the minor league? You're in the minor league? That doesn't make any sense. I guess we were in that tutorial for a little while. We went to that juice shop. I got the hammer. I picked up the ink coupon. I guess I was distracted for a long time. Oh, you know, though, these guys are in here now, too. We can have Goombella say some stuff about them. Let's see what they have to say. That's the owner of the Iron Adonis Twins. You can tell he's older by his red shoes. I don't think they took their loss to you too well, Mario. I'd be careful around them. Fair enough. Well, they're back in the minor league. If they want to fight me again, they'll have to raise their way back to the major league. For now, there's this block over here that I can smash open now that I have a super hammer! Thankfully, it wasn't that loud either. So this is just an extra little storage room, huh? With something of note all the way in the top left corner. Fortunately, with Yoshi's powers, I can now just... Fortunately, with Yoshi's powers, I can now just hover over here and grab this doohickey. The dubious document. Also, this is what it looks like when Mario picks up an item while riding Yoshi, so at least now I can showcase that for the first time. Kind of fun, so puts his arms up in the air. All right, let's see what we got here, huh? I mean, I figure I have a right to know what I'm picking up, yeah? Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. The belt was fake, but the real star's gotta be here somewhere. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. Beats me. It's kind of tucked away, too. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls. Hmm... I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you could do if you could do something for me, uh, that belongs to somebody named X. If you could give that to them while I compete in the major league, thank you. I've got battles to win. I don't have time to be doing some of this investigative stuff. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just got a ran on parades. Well, at least we know the crystal stars here. Well, I figured we had to know that because the treasure map told us to come here in the first place. And even if it's not. Well, memory, I, I got to meet you. That much is already kind of worth it, yeah? All right, well, let's go back to the Major League. It was a slight detour, and I suppose it's a nice change of pace from constant battles all the time, but sometimes I want constant battles all the time, especially if we're gonna keep getting that awesome rock and roll music. So let's dive back on into it. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. Yes, I am ready for my next ranked match, please, as is my pal here, memory. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then, your next opponent will be... Ranked seven in the Glitz Pits, the Shell Shockers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least three times. These fans eat that stuff up. A little grandstanding from their hero and they go wild. Now get in there and get them riled up, son. Aw, oh, you mean you don't want me to win this battle in one turn? Because I mean, I can, but now it's gotta take at least two turns because even if I appeal with both Mario and my partner, I now have to appeal on a second turn to get those three appeals in order to meet your quota. It's not hard, but it just means I have to spend one part of this battle at least defending or super guarding. Whatever. And, and I'm gonna want Goombella to tattle these folks here, so I gotta do that too. So no matter what, it's gonna take at least two turns, maybe three turns. The turtles of hurdle. Yep, I'll fight to the finish with the shell shockers. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! So-called great Gonzalez. Don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Unless he's like, don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. <laughs> I don't know. All right, but bring it on. I got my rock and roll music. Well, I do recall something in particular about these specific enemies, and that's that even after you knock them onto their shell, they can still damage you, and I imagine Gabella is going to say the same thing in just a moment, but the first thing I want to do is take care of this flying one that's carrying a Courage Shell. There we go, and then we'll swap over to Gabella. Oh, and you know what I just realized? Well, I'm going to have to redo this fight because I did not tattle him while he was still flying. But that's okay, so these guys are going to strike me. They can spin upside down. Woof! And they hurt. It's not enough just that they can still hurt me. It's that it really hurts. Is what I would say if it wasn't so good at super guarding. And then you just get the regular one. Boom. All right. So I still have to appeal three times. So I'll go ahead and do that. There's the appeal. 
Thank you, thank you. That's fine. I've been meaning to fill up my star meter anyway. So go ahead and tattle that one, Goombella. And then after this fight's over, I'll redo it and I'll tattle the flying one. That's a Shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. Max HP is eight, attack is three, and defense is one. The difference between them and other Koopas, they can attack from their backs. That's not all. While on their backs, their attack gets boosted and they use a terrifying technique. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called Shady Koopas, huh? Yep, that's basically what I was saying. All right, I still gotta do two more appeals though, and then you're the only one that's gonna strike. Boom, got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, I still wanna take care of the one in the middle first. So Goombella, go ahead and bonk this one. Boom, there we go, thank you. Oh, I've almost got the flower bingo wheel ready to go. All right, I'll go ahead and appeal once more. There we go, thank you. All right, and now, super guarding practice, here we go. Easy. All right, and... Okay, not as easy, but that's okay. So far, so decent. So we'll go ahead and head bonk you, just to put you on your back, and then we'll go ahead and spin the wheel. Now, usually I just kind of mash on these things. No, nope. all right, wasn't meant to be. It'll be meant to be one day, and I'll make a glorious occasion when it is the case, but for now, oh, snap. I was gonna say, I'm gonna showcase the super hammer for the first time, but now I'm about to get a power boost beyond that. So my hammer moves are now already more powerful, but now I've got plus three in my attack. Boom, baby. And yes, it actually causes you to hit the enemy so hard they can hit the other enemies beside them. That'll have some better uses later on in this walkthrough, but for now, Super Guard, thank you. All right, I got one more appeal to go. All right, so boom, thank you. Excellent. Yeah, so Super Hammer, it's not, it's not a terrible move, not by any shot, but it's not the most useful move either. Its main utility is just being able to strike an opponent so hard that you knock him into other enemies. Otherwise, like, you may as well use multi-bounce, or, you know, oh, the effect of my bonuses has run out. Well, folks, you just witnessed the last secondary effect bonus that I'm gonna have until I upgrade it again, and that won't be until I'm done with the chapter, because I'm not going back to Rogueport until the chapter's over. So, for these next few battles, uh-oh, Gonzales! Whoa, Nelly! I don't believe my eyes, folks! The Iron and Donuts twins are in a rage! You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're going to pay for it! Oh, a little tired from your match, great stick ward! Too bad! Prepare to die! Alright! You took my rock and roll music away from me! That's the biggest sin you could have done! But the solution to defeating you, once again, is very, very simple. I don't even have to tattle you this time. We'll get Memory back out, and he'll go ahead and have a repeat performance. So Memory, go ahead and gulp it! A one, a two, stylish points, boom, baby. Now Mario can't damage these things even with the normal hammer, but I'll go ahead and entertain the idea. Boop. There we go. Very good. All right. And even if I super guard these guys, it won't deal damage, but... Oh, wow, I actually thought I was gonna get it there. No worries. Yeah, yeah. The main thing is just ensuring that memory stays alive here. I also don't have enough FP to use gulp once again, so we're gonna go ahead and use sweet treat. I could use an item. In fact, this would be a prime time in which the hot dog item from the hot dog vendor outside would be great because it restores HP and FP, but that's okay. I just appealed three times in the previous battle to build up my star gauge, so I may as well capitalize on that opportunity. I just needed two more FP, so I already got it, so at this point, it doesn't really matter how well I do. Not my best sweet treat, but still all I needed. All right, just gotta gulp it one more time. And look, if these guys wanna give me some extra star points to be able to level up, that's fine with me. You know, you could've just selected the exhibition match option. I would've said yes. There we go, boom. I guess you really wanted to take me down when you thought I would be winded and exhausted from fighting those shady Koopas, but nah, nah, I am fine. We lost after all that, we reek. Woo wee, that's our great Gonzalez, friends and neighbors. Kid don't even blink when the Iron Adonis swins barge in an attack, woo. Tough, he's too dang tough. Yeah, this kid is only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone, see ya. Yeah, just a nice little curveball, just a nice little way to mix things up from this constant onslaught of battles. Sure, we have this mystery thing going on from this X fella, and I had to take a quick detour to go ahead and grab my super hammer, but this is just another way to keep the chapter fresh and not just have it be a battles, a, a battle blitz. 
Although I kind of like it being a battle blitz because it is making it contrast from all the other chapters. It's fun. It's a nice idea, especially for a Mario game. Well, all right. Oh, hey, speaking of which, okay. Gonzalez, another email? What now? All right, we're mixing things up from this battle blitz. All right, all right, all right. I guess it's nice to be popular. What kind of email do I got this time? I got to read here right in the locker room. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex, buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? Well, the only other person that sent me emails up to this point was Princess Peach. Could be her. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. She could be watching, right? These matches could be broadcasted in space. Anyway, I gotta go ahead and rematch these guys because I did not tattle the flying one. So I'm gonna do that real quickly. And because it's just an exhibition match, there's no secondary objective that I have to clear before the battle's over. And yeah, those secondary objectives do a nice job of keeping this, this chapter fresh too. I don't know, chapter three is just really cool. I've already gushed about the music and the characters and the dynamics and everything. And I have a million more things I can say, but it's just a really cool idea. It's just a really novel chapter. It keeps the game fresh, even though all you're doing is constant battles. And the fact that you have the easy opportunity to rematch anybody at any time here in this remake is so, so nice because it would be inconvenient if I missed that tattle in the original game, then I have to like intentionally lose. Anyway, he is still holding an item. It's always the middle one that's holding an item. I was just about to strike him again before I even tattled him. I gotta tattle him while he still has the wings on. That's a shady paratrooper. It's a shady Koopa with wings, obviously. Max HP is eight, attack is three, and defense is one. Knock it off its wings and it's a shady Koopa. Unlike typical Koopas and paratroopers, its attack jumps when it flips up on its back. This also says it has a move that hits you and your partner at once. Is that possible? Oh, I guess the best thing to do is just beat it quickly after we flip it. Yeah, and as you saw, it says he is only in the glitz pit, while the others can show up at other parts of the game. Man, I am so bad at power balance in this game. Okay, I gotta practice on that and not commentate as much while I'm playing. Still got the super guard though. Okay, he can't use the mushroom, but he can still make this hurt. Darn it. It's okay, I gotta practice more. I gotta practice more, I understand, I understand. All right, you know what? I mean, I'm almost out of FP as well. That's not as good. Here's what I can do. I'll go ahead and just Earth Tremor this and be done with it. Or no, this only does like five damage per hit, right? I'll, I'll just super guard the others, it's not a big deal. I am not flipping them onto their backs because if I miss another super guard, I will have a character die. So instead, I'll go ahead and use Earth Tremor just because I also need to restore FP because I did not heal on the bed between battles. Okay, hang on, I gotta focus on this. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Flip you on your back to win easy. Or easily, I guess. There you go, right? Is that do five damage, six damage? Uh, I wasn't keeping track, but it pierces defense. Boom, does six, the one in the middle is destroyed. And then we can go ahead and swap over to memory. And I guess I haven't shown this attack yet, have I? Yeah, Yoshi's main attack is a ground pound. As long as you mash, you deal about four hits, but the big thing is that it counts as four, or I guess three, isolated hits. So you can knock these guys onto their back. Oh my God. You can knock these guys onto their backs and then proceed to do extra damage to them with Yoshi. I'm just wrapping this up with a hammer to spite you. Boom, extra star points. Kind of a shame that those secondary effects are gone now because now I can't double my star points for this battle, but it's okay, it's okay. I got it, I got it. All right. There, I filled in the tattelog. I had to make sure I got the paratroopa because the tattelog says he's only in the glitz pit and not in etc. That all you got? Oh, see, memory said something different that time. That all you got. I think each character has two, maybe three win quotes. I just remember the Yoshi saying, how'd that floor taste? <laughs> so we got that. I got the rematch. I got the tattelog. All right. And uh, oh yeah, and I also got the super hammer and the threat. So that's neat. Anyway, I'm gonna heal now because I know I'm gonna forget. I was about to do my outro and I was like, nope, go ahead and heal on the bed. Do it now. Okay, well, I'm almost at the top of the major leagues and it seems as though I am making people nervous, whether it's these people that want me to go and grab the super hammer and strike stuff in the minor league room or just other competitors that send me hate mail. I am just excited that things are moving along and that this chapter is just as glorious as I remember it being back in the GameCube version. And I'm glad that memory and all my other partners have been kicking, but that's what I'm talking about for now. That wraps up this part of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. And I hope that you'll join me as I continue to make my way up the major league in the Glitz Pit. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh. 
And so we've reached the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button or leave a comment. Either of those actions would really help me out. If you wish to see more of my gameplay content, please click the subscribe button so that you can be notified each time I post a new video. And if you click on the bell icon, you can customize how often you receive notifications. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, and I hope to see you around in the future. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh!